Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so this video we're going to show you how to actually install the uh, Windows uh, IoT for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, some people I think just didn't understand what Microsoft was asking you to do because uh, I know with the Raspberry Pi normally you would select um, the image file in something like the Win32 uh, image burner uh, that they suggest in the wiki. Um, but uh, since some people don't understand how to necessarily do it, uh, that's why I'm making these videos. So we're going to be using DISM uh, to go ahead and show you um, what to do. So first things first, let me put my mic down a little bit. Hopefully you hear me okay. Um, in fact, let me put my mic to the side. Hopefully you can still hear me okay here. Um, but I'll talk loud enough. So, first things first, let's open up a command prompt. So you could do it in Cortana, should you want to. Uh, CMD, or if you have Visual Studio already installed, then you need to uh, do command. Um, right click that and run as administrator. And you're gonna have it uh, pop up and you're gonna say yes. So now you wanna go to wherever you downloaded the, uh, um, uh, Raspberry Pi image file from Microsoft. So in my case, I'm going to go here, uh, here, and then I'm going to uh, users, uh, me, and downloads, and then uh, I think it was, there we go, just to make sure, there we are. So now this is the most important information you need to remember here, this flash foo foo you. <laughs> funny right but uh that's the file you need so what we're going to do here right now uh first of all let's go and uh check to see your uh sd card so go ahead and run disk part okay you've done that then type list disk so in my case this is my uh sd card as you see here uh about a eight gig card um it, it, it's already formatted as a FAT32 and make sure yours is FAT32 uh, this makes everything go a lot quicker um, but as you see we need to select the disk right so since this is my main hard drive right here disk 0 we want disk 1 so we're gonna go ahead and type select disk 1 as so now also see if there's anything on here maybe you have something but uh, you could check the partition I doubt there's anything on your SD card as a partition but uh, select the volume so you can type list volume um, in my case QR it was something I was doing with QRs it has a drive letter F um, so it is there in its volume 4 right um, so we know it's there and this now if you needed to format it you could do uh, select uh, volume 4 uh, oops 4 uh, did I not do that right oops select volume 4 there you go so volume 4 selected so then again you could repeat um, list volume and as you see that little asterisk that means you've done it perfect you're good and then in this case you would be able to do format um, you know format that volume but I assume you've already done that or you don't care right now uh, but your SD card should be completely formatted micro SD um, so we can get out of here we know it's disk uh, 1 not 0 but 1 so let's go ahead and exit out. Now let's go ahead and do DISM uh, DA, uh, exe. Um, it's going to be apply uh, image. Let me move this over. I don't know if you can see this good enough. Uh, apply image and then space uh, image file. And in this case, it's going to be the flash dot. Uh, what is it? Uh, flash FFU, right? Um, then slash apply. Uh, drive and then this is where we're going to be uh, defining uh, the physical drive so it's going to be uh, uh, physical drive and then uh, the number so in my case it was physical drive one and then we're gonna do a skip uh, platform check uh, and that looks about right so we go ahead and hit enter and now it's uh, taking that image file that we downloaded uh, from Microsoft and now it's putting that on our SD card micro SD card so let's just wait a moment and now while this is going uh, in the comments uh, let me know what you guys think of this new Windows 10 IOT stuff in that you could use the Raspberry Pi as you know, I've been a humongous uh, fan and advocate uh, for the Raspberry Pi for the longest time, basically since it came out. 
I was one of the first, not the first, but one of the first people out there to try and get one. I have still one of the first uh, Model A's that were actually made in the UK, technically almost by hand, if I'm not mistaken, uh, by even in the uh, his wife. Um, but uh, anyhow, yeah. So this takes some few moments. This process, it's not quick. It's about a five minute thing, I think. Um, could be less. Let's hope. Uh, and you might want to forward ahead because uh, I'm just going to be talking a little bit here. Uh, now you might be asking Lance, why don't you speed this up? Because I don't need anybody thinking that oh, uh, it, it something's wrong with my computer or my computer's slow or something like that. My computer is super fast. Um, uh, it's a quad core even. Um, so my, it, there's nothing wrong with speed of my computer. This is just just a very lengthy process. I mean, we just hit 53 percent. Um, and we're uh, about six minutes into the video now, so bear with me. Um, but anyhow, if you check my other video, you'll see that I was playing with the uh, image uh, file from Microsoft, and if you delete one of the volumes, magically another volume shows up called Main OS. And in there, you could see basically the hierarchy and file system of uh, the Windows 10 IoT for uh, the Raspberry Pi. I feel very confident that somebody, maybe me or whomever, could take parts from, uh, let's say, Windows RT or the Windows Phone um, uh, disk image and make something so that we could have a GUI on uh, the Raspberry Pi. Now, Mary J. F uh, Foley, uh, who I mentioned, hey, would this be cool, basically didn't understand the concept behind it. There's so many concepts behind it, what we could do, but more importantly, I think of it as a Raspberry Pi that could run full Windows. Uh, that would be great. Besides Linux that we're able to run on these uh, Pis, a full-fledged uh, Windows 10 um, <laughs> on a Raspberry Pi, $35 computer, literally, and run Windows, I think that's a huge opportunity, uh, and so much more that we're not even recognizing. So, we're about to complete this, so this was about a four or five minute process, not even. So the operation completed successfully, and, uh, how do we know, right? So if we go into our, uh, uh, computer right here, click this PC, let me slide this over. You'll see it. There it is. Um, and there you go. Now, as you see here, there's a lot that's not showing here. Um, that's okay. Uh, but as you see, Broadcom, because that's the Raspberry Pi. But uh, if you watch my video, uh, maybe I'll put an annotation somewhere around here. I don't know. Look for it. Um, of the video of me showing you the complete file system. But nonetheless, you are good to go. You are completely done now uh, getting your Raspberry Pi uh, micro SD card going. It is right there. It should say you have, uh, you know, whatever size free. Um, but it should be 63.7 megabytes. Now you might be saying, hey, Lance, you had a 8 gig uh, SD card. I get that. If you remember, like, the uh, SD card with the Raspberry Pi, um, it did something similar, but only 50-something uh, megabytes, right, for the micro SD card or SD card for the Raspberry Pi to run Raspbian. Uh, Microsoft has done the same thing. They've taken that rest of the storage and hidden it. Um, the purpose of it, not quite sure, but... Uh, but nonetheless, I, they could be doing it for storage. Um, but uh, this is it. Um, you're good to go now. You can literally take the sucker out of your computer like I just did. It went away. Um, I'm going to be plugging this into my Raspberry Pi right now. Um, and so if you want, go ahead and watch the video of what happens next. Um and how we plugged it in and what's happening. And uh, other than that, you're good to go with uh, your Raspberry Pi. Um, if you have any questions, please put comments down below um, or get me on Twitter, at Lance Seidman. That's L-A-N-C-E-S-E-I-D-M-A-N. But that concludes how to make your Raspberry Pi image file. Okay? Well, everybody have a good day or good night or morning. Whatever it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching.